Alright, what's up guys? So today I'm going to be doing the first video that I've done on um, like repairs, projects around the shop, stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> I'm working on a camper. It's a Jayco pop-up camper. Um, I've had it for a couple years. It's older. Um, it definitely has some water damage to the floor. This is the biggest problem. Everything else has worked up until now. Um, it's real. It's pretty nice inside, besides the, the floor just being soft in some spots. So I did a few repairs on it last year to the floor. Used it for a couple times for hunting. Um, we got it out this year, this summer to use um, on a camping trip. For, um, and the back, it's an electric lift. The back part of the of the roof wouldn't lift. So we just had to kind of manually lift it up and kind of block it up and, and used it that way. <clears throat> and so this week uh, I'm going to try to do some repairs on it. I think I've figured out what the problem is. Um, I'm still kind of working on what the fix is going to be. But um, we'll see see what we come up with. You know, I'm not a definitely not a professional uh, camper RV repair person um, so what I do may not be the you know the right way to do it but it's gonna be you know the way that I do it so uh, I'll show you kind of what I got going here so this is just a pop-up I've just got it uh, about three quarters of the way up um, and I've got it blocked on all four corners with wood holding the, the roof up um, <clears throat> this is where the kitchen sink goes, right here, you kind of see, um, and here on the floor is where I've replaced underneath the table. Um, these are where the table legs go, I had to do that because that was really soft. The table wouldn't stand up, it just wobbled because the floor was so soft. Um, and then you can see here where I stopped replacing it even just since last year has gotten worse. Um, it's really soft, especially here. And it's solid through here. And it's soft again up here. Um, this is where the sink is, right here. And then I've replaced this right the door. Okay. So, I got this thing torn apart today. We're going to take a look at this drive system. Again, this is a Jayco uh, J series. I don't know the exact model. It's got an electric lift for the roof. And so, if you look under here, this is in the back. So, this is the back bed. And this has a fold down couch right here. There's a little step that goes right here that I took out. And then, this is the seat for the kitchen table. So, if you look under here, you can see the motor that drives this big ball screw. And on this ball screw, which is this, this plate rides up and down this as it turns. It's got these eye bolts that have cables attached to it. There's four of them. And uh, these cables run along here and then there's two sets of pulleys uh, this set here has two cables on it and they run up to the front to drive the front two corners or the front uh, lift rods I guess is what they call them and then there's two right here which are my problem uh, they lift the back and then you see this right here it's what they call the lift rod I believe it's like a spring kind of it's flexible runs up and then makes a 90 and goes up into the uh, like the telescoping rods on the corners of the roof so uh, it looks like what's happened here is this bracket with these two pulleys for the back has ripped out of the floor uh, you can see those holes go straight through to the ground it looks like the floor has been pulled back and I think it actually pulled out and move back this way until it hit this um, this piece that actually holds the ball screw 
I think it's just pulling against that now. And so what's happening is because there's so much space between here and where that makes that turn, um, it still works to a point and then it'll pop out and there'll be a big coil of, of spring right here or of the lift rod. So a way to temporary fix it I think would be to just put like a, a, a loop or a uh, I can't think of what they're called. You would just mount it here, mount it here, and it would hold that down. Use them for like cable, um, cabling, conduit. Probably use like a conduit one. It's about a half inch uh, diameter guide rod or lift rod. Um, what I'm going to do though is replace some of this floor. So it's all pretty soft back here, but right here is probably the worst spot so my plan is to uh, you can see that stuff just crumbles away probably full of black mold or something it's good to be touching it um, what I'm gonna be doing is probably mounting like a 2x4 underneath to the frame um, or a couple of them something to give some support right there cutting that piece out and then putting a piece of three quarter inch plywood down um, and then bolting that to it. So I've got all corners um, blocked up and I'll show you that in a second. So what I can do is relieve the tension on this so there's no tension on it anymore. Um, and then hopefully move that back to where it needs to go, mount it on some new floor. We should be good to go. You know, that being said, Probably um, what I should do, or what I'm gonna have to do at some point, is replace the whole floor. Um, to do that, though, I'm gonna have to take basically strip it down to nothing. I have to take everything out of here. Um, I have to take everything out of here. I'm not gonna do that right now. So I think I'm just gonna try to fix that spot and I'll seal it good on the bottom. Hopefully that'll stop some of that moisture from getting in there. And um, I think it'll work. Um, and then I'm also gonna be replacing some more of the floor out here where you walk. Um, that's gotten softer. So I've replaced all the floor all the way to the wall under where the table goes with three quarter inch plywood. What they use on this stuff is like an OSB. I don't know if it's like a treated sub floor or something. I don't think it is because it's uh, super soft and falls apart really easy. Um, so I'm going to replace some of this, probably all of this, in this walkway. And then I'll probably go ahead and replace all of this all the way up the front of the seat or the refrigerator there. Because it is soft right here. This is where I've replaced. You can see right there. It's soft here. It's soft in front of the refrigerator. So I'm probably going to have to replace this whole, basically the entire um, walking area. And here there's the front bed. So I'm going to replace from the doorway all the way back. Um, the only thing I won't be replacing right now is the stuff that's underneath. That'll be covered up with the exception of where I have to replace right here to repair it. So outside, I've got it blocked up. You can see on all four corners. Uh, probably not OSHA approved, but I don't really care. <clears throat> there's the J-Series, there's the bed pulled out. I just don't have it popped up. Um, and then kind of the same thing on this side. Alright, so that's the plan. Uh, I'm going to try to take as much video as I can. Um, and just see how I like doing this repair video. I've never done one uh, repair video like this. So I'm going to see how it goes. Um, I may start doing some more shop projects and that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll get after it.
All right, so I'm back out here working on the camper. First step is going to be for me to lower the top to take the tension off of these cables and those pulleys that I've got to move. So I should be able to lower it, put slack on these cables, and then move the uh, unbolt that pulley bracket get it out of the way so I can uh, replace that piece of floor right there. That should be enough, I think. Maybe not quite enough. That's probably pretty close. So the next step is going to be to unbolt that bracket. I think that's about where it's supposed to be. So you can see it was about well, five inches from where it was supposed to be. Ripped out and just came back and hit this, uh, this, this bracket right here. And that's what stopped it. Um, and the back was 
kind of slower to rise in the front and it would it would stay a little bit behind so I think it probably had moved a little bit started to pull out and then eventually when it did finally give away um, that's when it stopped working because this there was so much space right here that this wasn't holding this uh, lift rod down that it would just pop out um, so I'm going to see if I can get those bolts taken out, cut that little piece of floor out, uh, put something, another piece of floor in, and um, bolt it to that. I'll probably have to go underneath and put some kind of support underneath, and uh, obviously there's some ants, so we're going to have to deal with that too. Alright, so I cut away some of the floor around this, I uh, used an oscillating tool and then just a chisel. Um, you can see that it goes to the ground. And then right here is one of the, a piece of the frame about to right here. So I can use that. I'll definitely have to put something on this side. Um, and it may end up actually bolting this to it as well. Um, I think I can go between the two joists for the piece of wood. I've done that on some of the other floor repairs I've done. Um, and then I'll just slip another piece of three quarter inch plywood under here, bolt this to it. So I'm going to keep just cleaning this up and uh, get a semi clean like square and then I'll kind of see where I want to go from there. And I'm just popping it through that. There's an undercoating. It's like a, a water barrier, like fabric. Uh, it obviously isn't working very well from the shape of this floor, but uh, I'm just popping that through. I'm gonna spray the whole thing with uh, like flex seal or something, or the roll-on flex seal stuff to seal it after I get done. Um, but yeah, I'm just I was vacuuming it from the top as I went, but then I decided to just. pop that through because I'm going to need to be able to see it from the bottom anyway. And uh, just push all the debris down there. fairly clean. You can see that's it. right here is the edge of the frame. It runs right here and then that's where I tore that fabric out. It goes down underneath. So I'm just going to be replacing all the flooring under here where my hand is and putting a support underneath it and then I'll spray the bottom with some kind of sealant. And uh, I think that should fix our lift problem. I'm going to spray some bug killer under here while I'm back here because there's some ants under this back seat. Um, and that should do it for this section.
all right so I got the uh, square piece of plywood put in place now I've got to go underneath and put in a support I think I'm going to use a 2x6 uh, between the two joists So here's the back corner where we're working. Um, that's the electric hookup back corner. It's actually right above that back uh, stabilizer jack. So we're gonna get under there and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so there's our patch. You can see it's sitting on top of that frame right here. There's the frame, it's sitting on top. So I'm gonna put my support right here in between this and that um, they're just like c-channel uh, metal joists so I've got my 2x6 cut I'm gonna run it right here then I'll uh, screw it put some sheet metal screws through this joist into the wood then I'll spray it you can see I've actually done another patch right here that's a 2x4 um, and then spray it with flex seal and it seems to work out pretty good um, so we'll, we'll screw in between these two joists right here and then I'll go down um, screw this piece down to it and then we'll bolt through both of this and the 2x6 bolt that pulley block to that and that should hold it alright so this old support that I put in here, it's a 2x4 to support this piece of floor that I replaced, which is underneath the table. Those are the cups for the bottom of the table. And I replaced this whole section right here all the way back. Uh, so that's going to be in my way because I've got to go through this frame here into my wood. So what I'm going to do probably is drill like a half inch hole through this that I can fit my screws through. And on the other side of it, I got lucky and there's already a slot right there. So I can drill through that to locate one of my holes and then I'll drill through the other one just beside it at the same level. Um, those are the old screws that I used for that other support. And I'm going to have to cut off one of those self-drilling or self-tappers uh, that's going to be in the way. But it, should be, it shouldn't be too bad. Um, that screw head actually might mess up my dimensions a little bit. Um, I don't know, we'll have to see how it fits. Alright, so as usual, didn't go as planned. Um, so on this... C channel. Both of the C channels are facing in. You can see that. So I couldn't get a full length piece in between them. There's not enough room to like turn it sideways and fix it in. So I had to just cut it in half. So I've got it bolted through both sides. On this side, I also had to drill through this piece because I couldn't get the. It's the only way I can get the screws into this. Um, so I cut it in half, it's fitting nice and tight right there. I screwed it from the top through the plywood into these. Uh, we've got both pieces secured to the uh, frame or floor joist, already pretty sturdy. And I'm going to take another piece <coughs> and take another piece and put it <coughs> right there. That should hold it pretty good. <coughs> hold it pretty good. All right, I sunk some screws in on both sides. There, there, and that's it. So it feels pretty sturdy. 
I'm gonna spray it down with some uh, flex seal on the outside and the inside. I'll fill the gaps around that plywood with uh, silicone and then uh, I might even spray some flex seal inside. I'm not sure. And uh, that'll be that repair. Alright, so I've got the top working. I'll take you in here and show you what it looks like. So you can see I've ripped all the flooring out. Um, definitely got some mold going on. Super soft. Right here. Okay, basically the whole floor. Um, here's the fix. So you can see I put my patch in. Um, secured it to the 2x6 supports underneath. Uh, lagged it in. And then put silicone to fill the gap. And then sprayed over it with flex seal. And I flex sealed the bottom as well. So I think that'll hold for a while anyway. Alright, so here's the update on the floor after I got all the subfloor replaced. Just finished laying down this life proof vinyl flooring. It turned out pretty good. Uh, everything's super solid now. It's all three quarter inch treated plywood. Had this flooring left over from another project. So was able to get it all fixed up. That's it. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video. Um, just showing how to fix the electric lift on a Jayco pop-up camper. Um, if if you have a bad floor, that's what was the issue with this one. <clears throat> there can be issues with those pulleys and cables breaking or. Um, coming off but uh, this one was just the floor so it actually wasn't that wasn't that bad of a fix anyway that's gonna do it see you next time